Hi, I'm Howie Gondwe, um, a guitar player from London, and today I'm going to be discussing the amplitude envelope on a synthesizer and going through a few of the uh, common settings. So the first setting I'm going to talk about here is um, the switch setting. I've got my envelope set up here with a very quick attack time. Um, decay time doesn't really matter so much in this uh, case. Um, a high sustain level and a short release time. So um, it should act a little bit like a switch. When you press the key down, it sends a note on message which stays there as long as the key is, is pressed down, um, so the note will sustain. And then when you take your finger off the key, um, the quick release time, it means that um, the note will stop very quickly. So let's hear what that sounds like. So next up, I've got set up here a uh, percussive sound. So that will have a, uh, a short attack time, meaning that the sound will go up to its maximum level very, very quickly. Um, Short-ish decay time, so that um, basically um, the note will not hang on for very long after the initial attack. Um, certainly it won't because the sustain uh, level is right at zero. Um, release time is at zero as well, so um, even when I release the key um, it will make no difference to the length of the note. It will just be a short sound. Um, <clears throat> obviously I can lengthen the decay time if I want it to be more like a bell type sound, but let's just give this a go and see what this sounds like. Eventually that note stops and that has the effect um, similar to uh, the dampers on a piano coming down on the string and stopping the note after you release the key. Another type of sustained sound would be something like a bowed or blown instrument like a trumpet or a violin. I'm going to just raise this attack time up a little bit because it is a fast attack with a trumpet or a violin but not that fast, we don't want to click at the beginning, so not zero attack, just a little bit higher. Decay, yeah, kind of by the by. Sustain, up high. Release I'll have fairly short. Let's see what this sounds like. So imagine you're blowing through a trumpet um, and uh, the longer you blow, the longer the note lasts because you're adding energy even after the note has started. And once you stop playing, you, know, you go into the release phase and the note stops, so, so hence the short release. An unusual kind of sound, for a sustaining sound, might be if you set a high attack time, higher than the decay time, and then the note should swell in. Um, not really um, mimicking a real-world sound, but um, it could actually be a way to emulate a reversed sound. Um, so here we see a very fast attack time, um, a shortish delay, decay rather, um, zero sustain, and quite a long release time. Now this has the unusual quality of when you press the key down um, briefly and hold it, you get a short sound, but when you press the key down briefly and let go immediately, you get a long sound. So there you have it, uh, the amplitude envelope, um, a few of the common settings, um, and um, a demonstration of what they sound like. Um, I'm very glad that you took the time to watch this. Um, I welcome your comments and suggestions, um, and I'll do the same for you. Thanks a lot.